Hey guys, Hattie the Creator here, creating something new to share with you, and today I am excited to tell you about something I've been working on lately. So for the past two years, I have been heavily involved in the whole Web3 and NFT space. I've joined in with and bought NFTs from a bunch of different communities and projects, and I've been a part of, of that whole trend going on. I've done a lot of support artwork for those communities and really just gotten involved any way I could, which actually led to me doing artwork for different NFT collections, and I've done a handful now. I was hired as the artist of the NFT collection Apocalyptic Apes, and more recently, the Megadeth Digital Collection, which was a pretty huge honor drawing the NFT of Vic Rattlehead for the Megadeth Band and communicating with Dave Mustaine on the phone and stuff. I've also been able to contribute some artwork to Ozzy Osbourne's Crypto Bats Collection, and I've drawn some artwork for some pretty prolific celebrities, people like Iggy Azalea and the soccer legend John Terry. I did some custom artwork for UFC fighter Kimbo Slice Jr. It's really been quite the wild ride, honestly. And after being in the space for so long and kind of seeing the things going on and, and things I like from different communities, I'm ready to kind of bring it all together and start my own thing. So I've handpicked a team and put them together of different friends I've made while being in the space and I am launching the NFT, The Endangered. I'm launching this all under the Hattie the Creator umbrella and I have a lot more planned to come in the near future. I have a lot of really ambitious goals for this year and I'm really motivated to, to bring them all to light. And what launching this collection myself does is it kind of puts me in a position where I'm able to do that. But what I'm trying to do is to create a fun experience for people who enjoy my artwork and would like to, to collect some of it and to participate in the things we're doing. This first collection will feature gorillas with a whole bunch of lore and story behind it that I'll be releasing as we go along. So what these are basically is a collectible that you can buy just like you would go and buy a pack of Pokemon cards with a different chance to get a different rare card inside of it. The initial collectible that you purchase will not have a ton of accessories on it. It'll just have you know the eyes, nose, ears, mouth, and then the body. The fur color will be established and of course there's a lot of personality in those facial features. But then in February I will be releasing an asset pack that you'll be able to claim for free for holding one of these things and there will be an opportunity to get additional of those if you have the interest in and trying to find cool ones that go with your pieces. My goal in doing this is a lot of times there's NFTs that you purchase that are just all randomly generated and sometimes you know there's color clashes and things don't really go together and they get thrown on the floor and I want to try to prevent that as much as possible and make something that people can really associate themselves with and, and really enjoy. If you purchase one of these collectibles you are enabling me to do this more and to draw more often and to do this full time and really make a career out of it which I would love to do. And one thing the gorilla symbolizes is strength and inner strength and I think throughout the past two years I've kind of developed and found my own inner strength and I'm ready to stop depending on a strong man so to speak and be the strong man and step up and and I really feel confident that I could lead this thing myself and do a good job with it. I have a lot of gamification ideas and different customization ideas and custom artwork that I want to produce and create and offer to people who hold one of these things as well as additional endangered species collections that will be coming out in the future which you will be able to get or to claim if you own one of the initial gorillas. So I have a lot of exciting plans. This is not just a profile picture that you get and then I'm gonna walk away from it. But this is really a brand and a story that I wanna tell and establish and develop with you guys. I have a lot going on up here in my think tank. I realize this project is a little ambitious and I have some ambitious goals and our goal isn't to try to get some crazy hype and just sell this thing out in a couple of days, but to go throughout the month and sell what we can and whatever we don't sell after that month, we'll look at and see about burning them or closing off the sale and building off of what we have. In Web3, there's this saying called wag me, which means we're all gonna make it. And I am a firm, maybe a little naive believer in this. And I realized that just believing it wasn't enough. I had to step up and do something about it. I really believe that this project will be a fun experience for everybody involved and it will be something that you will be proud of and happy to be a part of. So all throughout the month of January, you will have the opportunity while supplies last to be a part of this community, to jump in and purchase one of these collectibles and we can go on this roller coaster together. And I just want to say thank you to anybody who's ever complimented my art or lifted me up. I, I swear I've gotten more support in this community than I ever have in my life doing, doing artwork. So thank you so much for watching this video and for being here. And if this intrigues you at all, go ahead and check out the Endangered NFT. Then let's make some cool shit.